So now we're going to test here and we're going to do our various combinations of tests. So we'll do CPC to line. So we've got no power. We're going to do neutral to line, no power, neutral to CPC, no power. So that's good. But how do we know that our tester is not broken and that's why it's not showing a reading? Imagine it got damaged in between us working in there and coming here. Well, simply that is what the proving unit is for. We just bob the tester on there and you can see that we've got power. So we know that our tester is working and we can be confident then that that reading that we took, that it was dead, it's actually correct. So we now know and, and can feel confident that this circuit is isolated, it's dead, it's safe for us to work on and it's locked off at the other end so nobody else can come along and re-energize it. And that means we can just work safely with peace of mind knowing that we're not gonna be electrocuted or receive an electric shock and it's safe for others to work around us too. So very, very important little procedure.